You're listening to the Greek's Gridiron, live with Ethan Haristadoulou. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Greek's Gridiron. I'm Ethan Haristadoulou. Typically today we do our power rankings every Tuesday to go kind of recap the week of the NFL and go over, you know, everything we watched the last few days and put all teams from 32 to 1. You know, a little bit of analysis here and there. Get your guys' thoughts. Ask a question or two for the day. And, you know, we do our thing every Tuesday. But obviously, if you did not watch last night's game, pretty crazy stuff. Uh, I am not one to typically watch Monday Night Football live. I usually catch the replay in the morning. NFL Plus has, like, the condensed version. So uh, I usually get up at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, go through the replay really quickly. And then from there, I do my power rankings. But... You know, I decided I was going to stay up last night, really big game and whatnot, but at this point, none of that really matters anymore. If you did, like I was saying, if you did not watch the game last night, Bill safety, DeMar Hamlin went down with uh, just an absolute freak thing kind of happening. The tackle he took was not anything, anything crazier than a, any normal tackle you see in football. It, he took a took a hit on I believe was it a kickoff return I at this point I don't even remember what the play was but uh he took a hit collided with T Higgins got up and then a few moments later just immediately collapsed on the field um emergency personnel got to working pretty quickly you could see there was quite a frantic pace with the way they were working on him and it was clear that something was really really wrong uh I I'm I'm kind of speechless because this is one of those things where it's like you know you love the game of football you love uh, especially for me like I I don't really have a dog in the fight I I just love watching football and I just love watching everyone go out there and perform at the highest of level in in a game that we you know we all love I love and it, it it's it's in, it's incredible it really is it, it, to to have seen what happened last night and you know the the kind of silence that fell over the stadium seeing the some of the players crying and it just the the distraught nature of the whole situation really kind of puts into perspective that at the end of the day this is all just a this is all just a game you know we all enjoy it but these these men are putting their bodies on the line every single not even just on game day like throughout the week too through all the practices and everything that they do all the stuff that goes unseen the hours that they do the working out preparing themselves mentally through film and what have you and all that stuff and then when they finally get out there on you know on Sundays and Monday or Thursday to perform it's it really is just a game at the end of the day and I, I'm there's no words to really describe what happened last night it was a real weird scene and by weird I mean just you know something that we've never really witnessed before in the realm of football it I'm speechless um power rankings obviously canceled today we're not going to do that we'll we'll figure that out whenever the NFL kind of sorts themselves out but I, I just want to say you know prayers up for DeMar Hamlin man uh, unbelievable stuff just unbelievable stuff it, it really does put life into perspective if you have a, a, a child as an athlete or someone you love is an athlete, you know, hug them a little closer. Make sure you tell them you love them. Wish them the best of luck as they, you know, they step out onto the field of whatever sport it is. I, it, you know, you, you never know. And last night was a prime example of it. What might happen right before, like, you know, right after they step onto that field. It's, this is, it's crazy. It really is. Um, I'm going to link in the description down below a link to his charity. He has a charity that was basically for gifting presents this past Christmas. Um, so if you're interested in donating to that, I've been, I was seeing that link go around all last night. I, I, <laughs> I, I usually, like I said, I usually don't stay out for Monday night football. This was like an exception I was going to make to watch some of the game and then catch the rest this morning. But uh, I ended up going to bed around like, it felt like maybe 10, 10 30 last night because I was just sitting there kind of, in shock watching the, the broadcast after, you know, he went down and just kind of waiting to see what happened with everything. Um, yeah, I, this is a, this is crazy. It really is. It really is. And it puts into perspective a lot. So like I said, if you have a child or someone you love or just whoever it may be that, you know, who plays a sport, make sure you let them know you love them, even just a loved one. even if you don't have somebody within that realm, but if you do, you know, Make sure you tell them you love them and you appreciate them for what they do. And, you know, just it. make sure the people that are in your life that you know are loved. Most importantly, prayers up for DeMar Hamlin. 
uh, you know, uh, um, for his for his friends, his family, everyone around him that he knows, his teammates. T. Higgins, I mean, I'm sure he's probably a mess right now. That's, you know, being the person that he was the one that, that you know, they collided with for that play. Uh, I'm sure that that is probably weighing on him heavy right now. Everyone that was in that stadium to see that, I, just a, a crazy sight. But I'm sitting here rambling. Uh, I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Like I said, I'll link his charity in the description down below if you're interested in donating money to him. Um, it's already been verified. It is his, his, uh, his GoFundMe and everything. So... Uh, be sure to check that out after this, but uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll get back to football whenever it's time for that. But for right now, thoughts, and prayers to Hamlin and his family, his friends, his teammates, everybody. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy night, crazy stuff to see. But uh, I'll catch you guys next time.